My name is Jenna Hunt. I'm a senior mammal keeper here at Durrell. I've been working with the bears for about 10 years now, but I've been with the trust about 14. Okay, but here's five years old, um, female bear. She came to us from Germany. Uh, she's a lovely temperamented bear. She's really sweet, really personable with the keepers. She, she likes a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention. During this whole process, we've been able to train her to sit against the training station so that we can perform ultrasounds on her on a weekly basis. Um, to check for pregnancy and then monitor the pregnancy as it's gone through all its different stages. So Chewie's our male bear. They, they get on amazingly, both him and Bahia, from the day they met really. They'd seen each other kind of through the bars um, on a couple of occasions when they were going through their quarantine period. Um, but obviously that, that first moment when you open the door is really nerve-wracking because you never know what's going to happen. But they, they kind of took one look at each other and just ran off playing, wrestling, and, and it was brilliant to watch. So that whole first year was really playful because they were still so young. Um, and now they've kind of settled down a bit more. They're not quite as playful, but they still have a really good relationship and, and they got on together really well. The, the birth itself was um, quite uneventful in itself. We, we noticed that during the day from observing her on the coming down camera, she'd gotten very restless and kind of moving around a lot, couldn't seem to get comfortable. Um, she was bringing in a lot of bedding, making her nest. Um, so we kind of were monitoring her really closely. Um, and it wasn't until towards the end of the day that we, we realized that, yeah, it looks like she's, she's giving birth. We have all of these brilliant images from the footage, from the cameras we have placed in the den. Um, we had been given some sponsorship for the Cubbing Den refurbishment by ABN AMRO and they paid for all of this fantastic high definition equipment to be placed in and it's really been invaluable because otherwise we wouldn't have a clue what was going on in there. So now we can monitor her, check on the condition of the cub and see that it's doing well without having to disturb her at all because in this species leaving them alone during the cubbing nesting period is crucial any disturbance can affect the mother-cub relationship. So the, the more hands-off we can be, the better the chances that cub will be raised happily by its mother. Okay, well, the cub is born and it's very, very helpless. Um, its eyes won't open until it's probably over a month old and it won't really get mobile until about three months old. So by about that point, three, four months old, it will start coming out of the den with mum. And it will be pretty dependent on Bahia until it's probably about a year old and then it becomes a lot more independent. We're kind of estimating that the cub will be coming out of the den and into the outside area around about the end of April, beginning of May. Um, but obviously that depends on her and whether she'll let them. Uh, but we're, we're looking forward to it. But to have young bears in and a cub, it's fantastic. I kind of feel like a nervous, neurotic new mother. I'm glued to the cameras, kind of constantly checking, see if the baby's still there. And yeah, it, it's fantastic.